Hello, welcome to Fishing with Joe. I'm your spokesmodel, Mallory. Today, we're going into the heart of Ohio's capital city. You're watching the greatest fishing show the Buckeye State has ever seen. Fishing with Joe, you gotta love it. Are you watching Fishing with Joe? Or are you watching the best fishing show ever made? And this, right behind me, right here, is downtown Columbus, Ohio. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Just doesn't get any better than that. Gracious! Oh my god, I've seen him come out and grab it. That fish right there. Oh yeah. Alright. Ooh, nice one. Oh, I hope I can keep the button up. Yeah, that is a awesome right there. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. You better pull out the meat stick because it's swamp donkey time. Bass so big you just might bust your pole. If you want some real action, you gotta head to Spinner Bobs for the best spinner baits and buzz baits hands down. Single, double, and triple armed red hot goodness. The big man Bob knows how to hook them up. The name says it all, Spinner Bob. Now come and get you some of this at spinnerbobblures.com. If you're looking for the best bait in the Buckeye State and an awesome selection of tackle, look no further. R&R Bait has been serving up the best for over 100 years. Our knowledgeable and friendly staff will make sure you're outfitted right for your next fishing adventure. And when you go, tell them Joe sent you. Now let's get back to the action. Hello and welcome to today's episode of Fishing with Joe. I'm your host, Joe Jordan. Many of you know me from my popular online fishing show, but some of you don't. I produce the most popular online fishing show in the state of Ohio and have for about eight years. I actually produced one of the first dedicated online fishing shows ever. I grew up in a little bait shop in the middle of Columbus, Ohio. As a child, I played in the crawfish and the worms and dreamed that one day I'd have my own fishing show. Today, I'm going to take you to one of my favorite fishing spots in downtown Columbus. It is a highly guarded secret, but it is one of the best crappie fisheries in the state. One of the best trophy crappie fisheries, that is. And we're going to get hooked up on a big trophy crappie today on today's episode of Fishing with Joe. You have got to love it. Oh. There we go. There we go. That is a nice crappie. Oh yeah, it is. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> All right. I am going to tiptoe my boat out of this spot while I'm talking to you. Look behind me. See that? You're not going to see that on any other fishing show. You're not. Nobody else does fishing shows in downtown Columbus like fishing with Joe so you got to watch my show for that um, just kind of putting the equation together here looking for some crappie it's in the fall water temperature between 50 and 55 degrees 
I'm gonna look for those crappies in a deeper area. So underneath of the boat right now, we got about 10 foot of water. And uh, that's what I wanna look for. I wanna look for brush piles and log jams that are adjacent to that deep water. Oh yeah, there we go. It's a beautiful fish right there. Yes, it is. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Has he got it? Looks like it. Ooh, I'm gonna give it to him. There we go. Had to wait on him for a second. He was thinking about it. The fish said to itself, hmm, do I want to be on the Fishing with Joe show or not? <laughs> do I want to be on the Fishing with Joe show or not? I don't know. Got to check. Yeah, I guess he had to check his makeup or something. <laughs> All right. There we go. I'm out crappie fishing. It's in the late fall. I mean, uh, one of my favorite places to fish, as you can see from the, from the buildings in the background. Um, I was, I've been battling a cold for the last couple days, so you, you could probably tell, but when the weather just kind of perked up, you know, it got up to, uh, it's going to get up to 65 degrees today, you know, I suddenly felt better. <laughs> I did. I said, the crappies are biting. I, I feel good enough to go out there and catch some, so I'm just having a blast catching them. I'm going to put this fish back. Thank you, Mr. Fish. Now, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the rig that I have. Um, I have a gold hook. This is a number one hook right here, thin wire hook. Um, I have a rubber core sinker. That's the smallest that you can get. I use four pound line, so I like to use a rubber core sinker because it doesn't damage the line. If you put a split shot on the line, you put a kink in that line, you can damage it. I'm using a, uh, a foam slip bobber, a uh, styrofoam one, and this is weighted. And it helps with casting accuracy. When you're casting around brush piles, you want that weighted float because it's just, it casts a whole lot easier. And uh, then I have it set down about three feet and I like to use the small little rubber bobber stops. Uh, I like those better than the string. They just seem to cast a little bit better. All right, so that's the rig that I'm using. And uh, you got the spot, you got the rig. So uh, you can go to work and catch some fish too. All right, I'm gonna go back to work and catch some more. Forgot the secret. In the fall, you fish the outside. That's it. There we go. That's a good one. All right. It's a secret, folks at home. In the fall, when you're fishing that brush pile, and you heard me say it, Fish to the outside edge of that brush pile as opposed to the inside edge. Um, in, the outs, uh, in, the, in the fall, fish are always looking for access to deeper water. So, you know, that's why the outside of the brush pile as opposed to the inside. Beautiful, beautiful crappie. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. All right. And going home. Thank you, thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Ronald Beach III, and I'm with Shopes Tire Service. We go and repair tires properly. We don't plug your tires. We do maintenance on vehicles, uh, brakes, oil changes, uh, steering and suspension components. We offer road service for emergencies when you're stuck out on the side of the road. My grandfather started this company in 1967 and we've lasted three generations and we're working on the fourth generation. We're here Monday through Friday 8 to 5 30. Saturdays is 8 to 2. We're located at 1890 South High Street, Columbus, Ohio. Come and see us. Invite us to your next blowout.
Weldcraft makes the most reliable, durable boats on the planet. All welded hauls and heavy duty construction are the reasons why. With over 25 years manufacturing experience, you can't go wrong. That's why it's the boat Joe chooses to reel in the big ones. If you want the hottest boat on the planet, you better quit playing. You better get to Weldcraft. Now let's get back to the fishing and fun. All right, now today I showed you the rig that I used to catch crappies. Got a little spinning reel, with four pound line. It's a six foot rod. Got a little styrofoam float with a weight and I've got a thin wire live bait hook. But I didn't show you the actual bait that I was using. Now I grew up in a live bait shop, so I'm a big proponent of live bait. But when most crappie fishermen are fishing for crappies, they'll use crappie minnows, not me, especially in the fall. In the fall, I switch up to bass minnows, just like these. I want a larger minnow because the crappies, they're trying to fatten themselves up for the winter. They want a big piece of bait. They want a real meal. And that's what I want to give to them, especially when you're after the crappies that are larger than 11 inches. So the next time you go out, try bass minnows instead of crappie minnows, and you may put a whole lot more trophy crappies in the boat. There we go, that's a bluegill right there. No, it's not. It's a big crappie. Whoa, that's a big crappie. Oh yeah, that's that 15 inch one I've been looking for. No, don't you dare come off. Don't you come off. Uh-uh. No, don't you come off. Oh, boom. <laughs> are you watching Fishing with Joe? Or are you watching the best fishing show ever made? Or C, all of the above. <laughs> oh, God. A huge crappie right there. Enormous crappie, folks at home. Enormous crappie. That's a slab right there. Okay. You, you don't get a much bigger than this one here in the state of Ohio. It's an enormous crappie. But uh, if you've been watching the rest of the show, you know that I'm not just anywhere. Let me turn this boat around, let me show you something. All right, right in front of me is State Route 315. This right here is the Confluence Park Restaurant. This is the confluence of the Olentangy and the Scioto. And this right behind me, right here, is downtown Columbus, Ohio. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Just doesn't get any better than that. Wow, wow, wow. Oh yeah. All right. Let's get a good close up of that fish. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm gonna put him back. And he was in a hurry to go home. All right. All right. I got to get back out there and catch another one of those. That was fun. Oh, there, go, there goes another one. Oh, yeah. In the fall, they just fatten themselves up because they're getting ready, getting ready for winter. You better pull out the meat stick because it's swamp donkey time. Bass so big you just might bust your pole. If you want some real action, you gotta head to Spinner Bob for the best spinner baits and buzz baits hands down. Single, double, and triple armed red hot goodness. The big man Bob knows how to hook them up. The name says it all, Spinner Bob. Now come and get you some of this at spinnerbobblures.com.
Have you ever wanted to go fishing with Joe? Well, here's your chance. You can be on the boat when it all happens. Joe has the best fishing guide service in central Ohio. You can learn all the naughty little secrets no one else knows from the man himself. Just go to fishingwithjoe.com and book your trip today. Now let's get back to some fishing and fun. All right, we were catching some truly big crappies in downtown Columbus, but the fishing started to slow down just a little bit. But just because the fishing is slowed down for the crappies, doesn't mean that it's slowed down altogether. As anglers, we have to be opportunistic. We have to look for that opportunity. And I noticed something. I noticed that that water temperature was 55 degrees. And that's the perfect temperature to throw a suspending or floating jerkbait. So I tied one on knowing that downtown Columbus is a phenomenal smallmouth bass fishery and headed out after some smallmouth bass. Oh, there we go. Yeah. That's the fish I was looking for. And we, yep, smallmouth. All right. In the area that I'm fishing, there are smallmouth and largemouth. And uh, in this area, sometimes I don't know what I'm going to catch. Got to kind of ask the fish, what are you? <laughs> All right, there we go. Another smallmouth. And uh, continuing to throw that floating jerk bait. And uh, they're continuing to hit it. Go, there we go, there we go. Gotta love it, gotta love it. Thank you, thank you. All right, and now this is a lesson to everyone at home. When you were fishing with a floating jerk bait, do not leave your, uh, your jacket laying on the deck of the boat or else you're gonna have that happen. <laughs> Let me put this away. <laughs> nice to have this well craft boat with all of uh, all of the storage. All right, safe and sound. Back to work. All right. Oh, there go. There goes another one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, look, listen to that drag. Listen to that drag. That's a nice fish right there. That is a nice fish. Oh yeah, it is. Oh yeah, it is. Come on, just barely got him hooked. Just barely got him hooked. Come on, don't you dare throw that hook. Don't you throw it, don't you throw it. Oh yeah, come here. Yeah. Oh, that water is so cold. It is so cold. And I just have him by one little tiny, tiny hook. <laughs> Whoa. Let me hold on tight here. All right, now I've got him by two. But I didn't have him by two. I had him by one. Just that one right there. Gosh, in the fall, they love floating jerk baits. Smallmouth love floating jerk baits. Remember what I said last time? This is my sign language for you. When the water is 55 degrees in the fall, tie on a suspending or a floating jerk bait find a waterway where there's some smallmouth bass and commence to catching fish. <laughs> oh gosh, he just tore it up, blew up on it. Gotta love it, gotta love it. All right, so earlier I was uh, doing some crappie fishing. Now I'm doing some smallmouth fishing. And uh, I'm just going back and forth between the two. Why choose? When you're catching big crappie and you're catching big smallmouth, if you're in an area where there may be some smallmouth, start throwing a smallmouth bait. If you're in an area where there's some crappies, take some crappie minnows with you. Catch some crappies. You gotta be opportunistic when it comes to fishing if you wanna be successful 
here in the state of Ohio. There you go. That's an opportunity for you. Oh yeah. All right, Mr. Opportunity. See you next time. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh yeah. Need bait and tackle for your next fishing trip? Visit r and Bait and Tackle. Open seven days a week, all summer long. Believe me when I say they're the best in the Buckeye State. Now let's get back to some fish catch and action. All right, it's time to talk tackle. The water temperature was that magic temperature of 55 degrees. And when it comes time to catch smallmouth bass, water temperature is 55 degrees, you gotta pick up a jerk bait. Um, got some different ones right here. Here is one in a natural pattern. This is a floating model and uh, it's silver black. I like the silver blacks when the water is clear. If the water gets muddy, I switch up to a chartreuse. And that's not because of the fish, it's because of me. When it comes through the water, I can see it a whole lot better. I can see that chartreuse on the top. And then the last thing right here is the rod and reel that I'm using. Um, just eight pound test line for me. Some prefer to go a little bit heavier. I like the line a little bit lighter. Eight or 10 is uh, very good. And I like a spinning rod and a spinning reel a little bit better for the jerk baits because when you throw them, they get in the air, they kind of flop around and it will backlash a bait cast reel up. And a spinning reel does a little bit better. So this one is six and a half foot and it is me medium action and uh, it's a really, really good choice. So these are a couple of things that can help you catch a whole lot more smallmouth bass when you go out fishing next time. Oh, there he goes. Oh God, that's a big one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Oh yeah, it is. Uh-huh. You hear that drag going. It's in the fall. Monster Smalley time. Come here, Monster Smalley. I just saw him. Now you gotta be extremely careful. You gotta be extremely careful with all these trouble hooks. All right, come here. Come here. Yes, yes, I gotcha. I'll put those fins down, I gotcha. I gotcha. All right. Now, we're taking work on this fish right here. There we go. That is a beautiful smallmouth. Look how fat they are. In the fall, they just fatten themselves up because they're getting ready, getting ready for winter. And so uh, floating jerk baits. Um, and suspending jerk baits. I like to fish with a bait that's about, oh, about, about five to six inches long. Um, a little bit smaller for a small mount. And uh, lots of trouble hooks because they'll come up, they'll swipe at the bait, and you want a bait that when they swipe at it, they're gonna get caught, all right? So that is a awesome fish right there. You gotta love it, gotta love it. Gotta love the way they fight. Oh, that water's cold. <laughs> All right, I had a truly great time fishing in downtown Columbus today. The fishing was just phenomenal. I caught some trophy sized crappies, but when the crappie fishing slowed down just a little bit, I had to switch gears and think about what else I could do. I seen that the water temperature was 55 degrees, decided to tie on a floating jerk bait and go to work catching smallmouth bass. And that's something that's very important. When you're out there and you're fishing for one species of fish and it's not necessarily working out, they slow down a little bit, you gotta change your mindset and you gotta start fishing for something else. And the fishing can pick up for that other species of fish. So I hope you learned a little bit, got a few tips and enjoyed the show. If you would like to watch other shows, check out my website, fishingwithjoe.com.
www.thepodcastnetwork.com and you can see lots of old episodes, tons of them dating back years. So thank you very much for watching the show. And remember, Fishing with Joe, you have got to love it.